Hey you guys, today I'm making a bit of a more unusual video. Uh, today, very casually, I'm going for a walk uh, through our neighborhood and in fact, if you watch all of my videos then you will recognize this playset area from my video with my sister, uh, some mini short that we made called The Sidewalk. You'll recognize uh, that from, well, from that video. And today I'm literally going for a walk around the neighborhood and in fact, this particular walk is important and unique because this is my very first walk around the neighborhood since I had COVID. And since we've been quarantining for over three weeks, I'm finally out of the house and I'm finally going for a walk around the neighborhood, which is just awesome, refreshing and really exciting to finally get back outside. And today on this walk, I'm uh, bringing you along because we're not just talking about anything, we are talking about the TV shows and movies that I have been enjoying over this quarantine period. And not just the past month for me, but the entire past nine month period uh, during the coronavirus pandemic. I've been watching a bunch of movies and significantly more TV shows, and I'm going to be talking about some of those today. And so today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorites, some of the TV shows, some of the movies I've been watching, and uh, why I enjoyed them, and uh, why I'd recommend them. So this is just a quick video, literally casually talking about some of the favorite media, some of the favorite content that I've been watching uh, over this extremely long quarantining period. So essentially, I won't be talking about anything that I watched before, like, middle of March, and then everything from then up until now. So let's get started. Let me sit down here while I pull up my list. Um, I guess I should probably explain that too. How have I been keeping track of everything that I've been watching? No, I have not been making some fancy list since the beginning of the quarantining period because, well, I did not think that this would be going for as long as, as it has. Instead, I rate essentially everything on IMDb. So I give it a rating out of 10 stars, and on the IMDb app, I can go into recently rated and then TV series, for example. There is an airplane. I can go into recently rated and then TV series and go back to the very first TV show that I remember watching after the quarantine started. So that's that's how I am getting a perfect little list of everything that I've been watching is because I rate everything that I watch. The very first show that I'm gonna be talking about today is a show that I've been watching off and on over the past two years, I'd say, uh, Black Mirror. This is a show that I've been watching for a very long time. However, I watched like my, my final like eight episodes that I hadn't seen uh, during this quarantining period. Here's a little bit about Black Mirror in case you don't know anything about it. Uh, it is an episodic series that is on Netflix right now. It's a show that deals with modern technology and all of the foreseen and unforeseen consequences that come with the advancements of technology. It's kind of an anthology series, so essentially every episode is like a new story. It has an entirely different cast and filmmaking crew. You can watch the show in the episode order from episode one to the very end, but I did not. When I started watching it like two years ago, I can't even remember what episode I watched first, but I've always watched it out of order. Anyway, great series. I would 100% recommend it. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen. And I believe the last episode that I watched, because I watched it completely out of order, I think that the last episode I watched was called San Junipero. I think that was the last episode that I watched. That was like two months ago. And while the entire show was great, some episodes were better than others. Some of the standouts for me included USS Callister and, let's see, Hang the DJ, all of season three, um, White Christmas, 15 Million Merits, and Smithereens. I think that those were the best episodes in my opinion. Given that that was a totally really quick rundown, those are some of my favorite episodes and I watched about half of those during the quarantine. Now another show that I watched that was actually towards the beginning of the quarantine, that would have been in, in March I think, was Prison Break. Now that's more of an older show despite the last season being in 2017. So it had been out for a while, however I hadn't ever seen it and my parents watched it when it was, when it was airing live like 15 years ago. So, well, I decided to watch that show during the quarantine. Good show as well, totally, like, massively different than Black Mirror, but also really good. Another show that I watched was Better Call Saul. Given I've been watching that show for a few years now, and 
During the quarantine, I think I only watched season five, which was a new season. So I watched those episodes as they came out. Amazing show, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are some of my favorite shows ever. And uh, season five of Better Call Saul was probably the best season yet. And then I watched a bunch of like small shows as well during the quarantine, like uh, Dead to Me on Netflix. I think there are 20 episodes. Great show as well. I don't really like any one genre per se. And while Dead to Me was totally different in comparison to the other shows I've been watching, it was also really good. Very bright here now. Uh, another show that I watched was called, oh, what was it called? Oh, Afterlife on Netflix. Very short series as well. I think that there were 12 episodes. And that show, kind of like some of the shows I've done, was a dramedy. So it was like a mix of comedy and drama. And uh, I don't know, it was good. It's from Ricky Gervais. One comedy series that I enjoyed in particular that I started and finished watching incredibly quickly in just a few weeks was Schitt's Creek. Really great show. Uh, there were six seasons. Um, not too long, totally doable. <laughs> um, but, uh, but takes up a decent amount of time. Great show. One of the best comedies I have seen. The writing is crazy. <laughs> the characters are uh, very distinctive. You know who they are from the very, very beginning. It's an addictive show, I watched it very quickly. Another show that I watched was Ozark. Watched that from the very beginning. My parents actually recommended that show to me about a year ago, even for, before the third season came out. It stars fantastic actors from Jason Bateman to Laura Linney to also Julia Garner, who I was not familiar with before that show. Really great actress. I also watched all of the Umbrella Academy during the quarantine. Great show, and again, totally different than all the other ones. And traditionally, just genre-wise, it just isn't a show that I would be interested in traditionally. But uh, I checked it out because so many people said that I looked like one of the actors on that show. People have been telling me that I look like Aiden Gallagher from the show. So that's actually why I checked it out originally, just to see what the show was about and uh, see what kind of actor he was. And uh, that's actually how I got interested in the show. Then I watched it entirely, all 20 episodes. Very interesting show that uh, surprised me several times. Another show that I watched, yes, I'm back here at the park, um, was The Blacklist. Now, that's a very long show. <laughs> and so because it's so long, I've only been able to watch the first season so far, but uh, it's pretty great. The Blacklist stars the excellent James Spader. Uh, so uh, that was also part of the reason why I was initially interested by the show. So I've been watching that show off and on. Uh, however, I really stopped and took a break from that show after I discovered Arrested Development. Now, Arrested Development is a show that I have recently started watching, like about a month ago. There are five seasons so far, and there were, I think there were six years in between seasons three and four, and then another six in between four and five. Great series, absolutely hilarious. I just, for some reason, I don't know, I just, I really like the comedy on that show. And then again, also Jason Bateman, once again. So I'm actually still watching that show. I think I've seen, I'm halfway through season five, so I'm nearing the end, but uh, still watching that one. Great series as well. Totally recommend it. And now that brings me to the last show that I'm gonna talk about today in this quick video, and that is House of Cards. That's a show I've been recently watching. I have procrastinated on watching that show for a while. Excellent series. I, In fact, I just finished season five last night. The acting is superb, the writing is actually shocking, <laughs> which I find that I can predict a lot of the events and shows these days, but House of Cards has kept me on the edge of my seat. Also, it's a political drama, so it's got that going forward in my book. Oh, and one more I almost forgot. This was actually before the quarantine, but does anybody remember Tiger King? Man, I hate to remind you of that if you had forgotten, but does anybody remember that show? I think that whole, I think that whole thing happened in like January or February, maybe? Feels like forever ago. Oh my God, sure enough, I watched that show in March after the quarantine began. Wow, that show counts. And there were a few other shows that I also watched that weren't so good or weren't as memorable. Uh, so I didn't really talk about those, but I think I talked about all of the major shows that I've been watching. 
And uh, now there's going to be a movie segment, but that segment's going to be much more limited. In fact, I'm also realizing that there are tons of shows that I started watching years ago and that I finished over the quarantine <laughs> that I completely forgot to talk about. One of them being The Good Place. I just finished that like six weeks ago. I've been watching that show since the very first episode that aired on television. Like I, <laughs> I was sitting watching when the first episode aired live, which it's pretty rare where I start watching a show on the day that it first airs and then watch it all the way to the end. But that was the case with, with The Good Place. I almost forgot about that show. Amazing finale to the show, the, the series finale, amazing. Also, I'm realizing that I've been now walking for an hour. This walk has gone quickly. We're almost done, almost done here. One movie that I watched during the quarantine was John Wick Chapter 3. I've always liked the John Wick movies, and uh, this one was pretty great. Also, I saw Tenet in theaters, and not just once, but I think three times. I really liked that movie, but then again, I also I like all of Christopher Nolan's films. Another film that I watched during the quarantine was Nightcrawler. Really great film. It stars uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Really enjoyable. Well... There's a difference between enjoyable and good. <laughs> there are a lot of good movies and TV shows that are hard to watch, and then lots of movies and TV shows that are fun, but not necessarily actually good. But I really enjoyed watching Nightcrawler, and it was also a solid movie as a whole. I also re-watched Ocean's Eleven, given that was like my fifth time <laughs> uh, having seen that movie, but I, I did re-watch the film maybe... I don't know, just a couple weeks ago. It was pretty recent. Another film I watched, which was another one that I've been meaning to watch for a very long time, was The Silence of the Lambs. Uh, if you know me well, then you know that I enjoy a good horror movie, and uh, The Silence of the Lambs was amazing. This movie was seriously good. Intense, but seriously good. I think I watched it maybe, th I think it was three months ago. And finally, I think the last most memorable movie that I watched during this quarantine was Zodiac. That I watched like six months ago. That was also a really good film. I really like David Fincher. Maybe that's part of the reason why I like House of Cards so much. All right, and that just about concludes this whole video. So those are some of my favorite movies and TV shows I've been watching during this quarantine. Now it's most certainly not all of them, uh, but that was just kind of like a, a quick rundown of some of my favorites. Now I'd also love to hear about some of your favorites that you have watched during the quarantine. So make sure to write in the comment section down below what some of your favorites were, because that was half of this video. Me just letting you know some of the stuff I've been watching because I've been getting lots of requests to do this and then also because I'm curious what you guys have been watching what you've been enjoying so don't forget to comment down below and let me know what some of your favorites were and uh, that's that's pretty much it for this video I've been meaning to do this for a while and I actually was supposed to do this right before we got COVID so then it was of course delayed by I don't know, a month, maybe even six weeks. I meant to do this a while ago. So there you go, hope you enjoyed. Finally did the video that I've been meaning to do for a while. And to those of you that asked for this video, well, here you go, here it is. And I just wanna stress that while I didn't mention everything, those were most of my favorites. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what some of your favorites were, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.